Hey, what's up folks? Today I want to introduce to you a very uh, nice little notebook. It's no big deal. It's a 300 megahertz notebook. It's the um, what is it? The P, the E, the PC E700. It comes in the box. Comes from China, and in the box you don't find anything. Why? Because I bought this um, notebook at my friend's computer shop here. It's called First Eight, and I got it for only. I cannot tell you how much. I got it for almost free because this thing was running Android 1.6 and the problem with uh, the Android, the Android 1.6 it was running it didn't have no market, it didn't have no nothing but as you all know I got a lot a lot smarter thanks to uh, the tablets I was uh, trying out before and uh, I knew that uh, I could put uh, APK share on it and get even more um, how you call it programs to put on the thing but then again you know that I like to listen to music and things but what happened uh, uh, with all the Android versions I, I, I installed on this thing the firmwares there are like uh, six seven eight maybe ten sorts of firmwares that run on this thing because this thing has the same hardware as the Econ M001 I, I'm sure you guys know that one that's this uh, this little tablet that I threw away uh, a while ago because it, it sucks you know it's really bad and the, oh shit I missed the chair again anyway this Econ uh, has the same hardware and um, well not exactly the same the processor is the same but the memory in the Econ or the processor in the Econ is a 600 megahertz and the processor in this thing is only 305 megahertz so that's just like very old that's like an old Pentium 2 remember those old Pentium 2's running XP way back uh, in, in 1999 and in 2000 running Windows 2000 professional I was like if this thing can run Windows you know because in all my Android in all the Android versions the thing got stuck at a certain moment when playing music it looked really beautiful everything was working and then I'm listening to my favorite reggae station and then suddenly BAM you know music stops everything stuck so only thing I can do is a hard reset so I was like I must find software that uh, that that disables this 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 stocking up because what do you want with a with with a with a laptop of BMW that uh, how you call it stocks up every time I don't want my car to stock up I don't want my laptop to stock up so I've been searching and searching and so on the box that originally this thing here is written came with um, Win CE. Well, you guys can't really see it on the box here. Let me see if I can see it here. Um, I removed the stickers because I made something. I made a custom uh, thing out of it. I gave it a nice BMW, BMW logo because that is my car. And I've been searching and I've been searching and I've been searching. I've been working for four days. This is day four you know day four I will let you see some videos of, of, of the days before when I just got this thing and and you will see that, that that I got much smarter in four days I mean like the 20 buck that I spent it on this thing give me so much more information of how to fix things and how to get even smarter and that I would like to share with you and my friends you at the other side of the world because you might get a thing like this in your hands for 10 euros or 15 euros somebody say please take it away before I throw it out of the window because this thing is, is useless you know um, then you must watch my video because in my video my friends I will give you also the right software you should install on this thing because I've been uh, checking all over the internet and of course uh, my friends of slaydroid.com you must check out that site that slaydroid.com become friends with these people you know take a membership and read up there and learn you know because you will need that site if you're into tablets and into fiat processors and 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 and, and arm 
whatever kinds of processors, tablets, you will need that site because SlateDroid.com, ArcTablet.com and uh, there are even some more. These sites are the most important sites for information about your tablet PC. Okay, um, what did I install finally? And now I can proudly say after using this thing for more than 12 hours, it's not stocking up anymore. This thing is working like a train. And let me show you, um, I installed Windows CE 6 on it. Eh? But a special version, a version that had all these programs included. And you see, there's also um, YouTube in it. And this uh, firmware was officially made for the... <laughs> oh my God. For the <laughs> for the Econ, you know, I just I just smashed. I missed the chair again. So, but anyway, this thing was made for the Econ. This this uh, how you call it? This software, this firmware, and it runs just fine on this 300 megahertz uh, book. So you guys should really try that out. And you can only find that uh, software at Slate Droid. Eh? But I will include, of course, the link. Uh, and I will upload this WinCE version up to my media fire and I will tell you how to install it. Um, when downloading the file you uh, unzip it or unwrap it and you will see a folder called script. Then you take your SD card, the one that you stick in here, you take it and put it into your uh, card reader on your computer and you format that with a 32 fat partition. Then you copy this firmware folder yeah, you copy it to the root of this SD card. Just copy it to the SD card that you see the folder up there. Then you stick it in here, in here. You just stick it in here. And then, then you press on the laptop, but you also press down F1. And this uh, trick will also help uh, my friends that cannot uh, install any firmware anymore on this thing. The thing is not accepting, it's not starting up anymore, it's giving black screen, it's not uh, looking at the SD card. Just press F1 while pressing the power and the thing will look for the SD card and it will start booting. No thanks, no thanks, thank you. You know, I also screwed it, this thing up. What happened, um, I was installing, uh, I was starting up the machine and it already had Android installed on it and then I still had my card in it so it started installing again and I just quit the process I was like shut the hell up you know and then I wanted to put another Android on it and then the thing wouldn't see the SD card anymore and I was like shit I really bricked it now but then some friend smart friend on the internet showed me that by pressing F1 and the power at the same time the thing will update and the thing will look for a SD card. Okay, enough spoken. Um, I want to show you what uh, what I made of it. As you can see, this is running the latest OS, Windows 9. Just kidding. This is just a very beautiful Windows 9 background. And it's running Windows CE. And Windows CE is nothing more than, yeah, than kind of XP. You also have MSN Messenger on it. You know, Explorer, Media Player. And the most beautiful thing is I can listen to my Suriname radio, you know, I can listen to my Suriname radio and that is really cool of this device because um, I can even watch XFIT videos. Eh? I, uh, I do put the quality on low, little lower, you have three uh, low, very low and high. And then I put it on low. Look here, I just hit the link of Radio Apinti. You see? I'm now listening to the news of my country, Suriname. And uh, this is really cool because um, Radio Apinti really thought about uh, how to um, how to deliver their uh, audio stream, their radio stream to the world. They broadcast in 24K, but the quality is it's good enough to listen, you know, and I can always receive them with any device ever. So, Radio Apinti da so, goeie saak, Bombal man, good thing there man, goeie saak, je doet het goed. Yeah, I wish Radio 10 and the other station would also 
uh, make a link like this, the HTTP uh, port 80 link. Dus Bombelman, misschien kun jij uh, die andere radiostations ook even vertellen dat ze ook zo een link moeten maken. Want ja, daar kunnen we ze ook ontvangen. But then again, Radio Abinti. Happy Station! Alright, just kidding. So I'm really excited. Um, this thing is working just fine, and I would say, um, you know, um, enjoy yourself if you have a thing like this. If you can get one, buy one. You know, um, it's very cheap, and just give it a, a nice professional BMW uh, sticker, and it will suit with your shirt and with your car. Anyway, I want to say thank you for watching. This was Puck. This specs the specs of this thing are really really bad 300 megahertz 128 megabyte ram so it's not something that you should like really get a hard hard one from but the coolest thing is and that is what is keeping me busy because i have all these other computers here all these other tablets much more power than this thing the coolest thing of this thing is that when you get started uh playing with the thing you want it to work the way you want it to work and you don't want a thing that stocks up every five minutes right so no android on this thing nopes the the uh the the firmware for this uh, device is windows ce6 and i want to give my compliments to all the guys that compiled this version of windows ce6 um i'm trying to find the version name of it and I don't really know how maybe I should type WinFer but then again this is not Windows 7 I'm looking in the properties and I see here oh yeah here it is uh, Microsoft Windows CE um, oh you see this ARM processor you see I didn't know that I thought this was a FIA this is a FIA processor but it's also called ARM processor WMT ARM processor you see I don't know all these things as well eh? I'm learning and this is Microsoft Windows CE version 6 build 31 22 so you know and I just gave it a nice Windows 9 background I think it looks sexy cause we don't care too much about Windows 8 anymore eh? Windows 8 it's not about Windows 8 it's about Windows 9 you know what I mean Windows 9 will make you feel fine Windows 8 isn't that great I wish you a very nice day <laughs> Microsoft don't get pissed off with me I'm just kidding um, I wish you a very nice day uh, Microsoft Android and all you operating systems out there put hands together and make a better thing for the world you know, make a better operating system together with the world. In my previous Windows 8, um, what you call it, concept video, you saw that I made the background, or at least I used the background in it as well, from Nokia, shaking hands with Microsoft. And you see, now Microsoft and Nokia, they are friends. So it does matter. These, my videos, they do matter, trust me. You know, and now I want Android and Microsoft to become friends and I don't want Microsoft to steal developers of, 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 of Android and I don't want Microsoft and Apple to buy all the patents and you know kill, uh, kill Android with that you know we don't want that we want you guys to work together don't be like that because none of you are the best but together you guys are the bomb okay this was Pope Darlington, till my next video and I say have a nice day.